Yo, this is for you, my friend. This is a spinner bait that I've caught like every bass on in the fall. It's, I don't know if you've used one of these yet, but that's the magic maker right there. You saved my day the other day and I was like, you know, if I run into him again, I'm gonna get him one. <laughs> Just met a subscriber, that was awesome. And he said, I gotta try down there. But <laughs> 17 inches. Dude, thanks. Appreciate it, oh, man, I appreciate it. That was, oh man, too good. 13 inches, 13 and a half. It is a cold. You know, I say that, but then you you actually look like a pretty decent fish. Another fish on the spinnerbait. Well, I just wanna stop by and say hello. I gotta get to filming this video. I only got a little time out today, but I wanted to say Good thank luck. you again and. Dude, that video, I couldn't believe you were killing it. That was wild. That one was nice too. I was like, holy shit, that's a big bass. Yeah, I'm coming in with some confidence today. Hopefully, you try a spinner bait over there. Yeah, there was nothing. White and chartreuse with a little minnow paddle tail. Yeah, I didn't get a single bite. All right, man. Hey, good luck. Good luck out there. Well, I'll run into you again. We'll we'll bass fish it up, but I only got a little time today, so I gotta gotta I gotta get to it. I'm going, man. Catch catch a catch a big old bass on that, will you? You got a nice trailer for it? Oh yeah, I got some. I'm gonna rig it up right now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whew, all right. Good morning. Welcome back, everyone. We're gonna do some fall bass fishing today. I'm narrowing it down once again to just two lures. Today we're gonna to be throwing my reigning champion, the spinnerbait, and I'm gonna be throwing a jig as well. This is my current favorite spinnerbait ever. Love this thing. It's the one I've been catching all the bass on all fall so far. So I went and picked up another one. Just gave an, just uh, stopped over and gave my buddy uh, one of the subscribers I ran into the other day. He told me about fishing this spot, so hopefully he's able to find some similar luck with it there we go that's the lure right there this is my favorite trailer so far just a nice white paddle tail i got this tied on to straight 40 pound braid i like that because i'm going to be fishing in some pretty heavy cover so it's nice to be able to handle whatever i need to handle taking off this craw trailer i'm not gonna lie i'm not believing in the craw trailer right now so we're swapping it out for one of those bug trailers that i just got we're doing these guys here. All right, so this is the jig I have set up. It's got a nice rattle on there. Got that big old bug trailer on there. I think that's gonna be good. I have a good feeling about that. Out of all the challenge videos I've done, that's the one I'm most optimistic about to be a challenger to this spinner bait that we're using today. I'm gonna to start using some tackle warehouse links starting on this video. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Just got accepted into their little affiliate program thing, so they'll give me a, a good chunk of the cut of money compared to Amazon. So if you wanna buy these lures, if you see them being successful, then you should maybe buy one. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. We're gonna start with the spinner bait since he is the champion from last time. And let's uh, let's fish the spot over here and see if we can make something happen. As I've said before, the most important thing you can do is catch a bunch of grass on your first cast. Very important. All right, we gave the spinner bait a good I don't know, that's maybe 20 minutes or so. I think it's time to switch over to the jig. Which one do you think is going to win today? You know. I kind of have my money on the spinnerbait, but jigs, jigs catch big bass. That's what they say. I've never caught a big bass on a jig yet, so maybe I'm due. That's, uh, kidding me? Whoa. <laughs> Got it. I think I'm gonna try this dock over here, and then we're gonna we're gonna move around to some different spots. I think this spot does not feel like it is activated quite yet. Might not be an early morning bite spot, um, but it can turn on just like that. Just like I can come back in maybe a couple hours and it'll just be absolutely insane. Did I just skip that under there? I've been trying to skip a jig for, <laughs> or been wanting to for a long time. We'll leave that as, uh, as lucky as it was. My first jig skip. All right, been out here for an hour, still nothing yet. That's okay though. Last couple times that I came out and killed it, it was a slow start as well, so just gotta be patient. Gotta make sure we're throwing in the right spot when the right time hits. Oh, this weather though, can't beat it. 
as I'm uh, pushing towards winter. We're like in mid-fall now. Right in the heart of fall. This is where it starts to, it'll start to get pretty chilly to be out in a kayak most days out here in, in Washington at least. It'll become trickier and trickier to stay warm and comfy. But I'll be out here nonetheless. If I need to upgrade stuff to stay warm, then, then that's what I'll do. I'm really curious what the biggest thing that bass ever eat. I know that they, they'll eat just about damn near anything, but bass get pretty big. I bet they've, I wonder if one's ever taken down a full duck. <laughs> I know that little, you can use, get like little duckling lures you can throw and they'll eat those. So I'm, I'm sure they eat, uh, I'm sure they eat those. One thing that'd be really nice about having a just a fish finder would just to be able to check water temperature because you could look and see where I mean some areas of the water are going to be warmer than others, and if you can find the warmer water on the lake, especially right now in the fall, then that would probably do well. All right, switching over to the jig. At a brand new spot, I have a good feeling about this cast. That's some nice green grass that's in the water right there, which is ideal. All right. Well, how about you? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you get something? Yeah. It's like third cast, you got a 17. Oh, what? Just under three pounds. Yeah. From that big tree that sticks out. That first big tree that sticks out. That giant, that one way down there? That. Yeah. I hit the tree with the lure, it dropped in. Didn't even have time to click it up. Man. Yes, so glad to hear it. <laughs> a couple of smaller ones, but yeah. Three largies, no smallies. So yeah, thank you. Nice, well, just returning the favor. <laughs> I haven't caught anything yet, man. I've been struggling. I talked to that guy a minute ago. He said he hadn't got a bike yet. Yeah. yeah he, he came up right after I caught that bass. So. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was oh, like man, that's awesome, I got a bike. Right on, dude. Call it a day, man. Huh? I'm gonna call it a day. Call it a day, yeah, that's a win right there, man. Yeah. Got a Got a three pounder in the bag, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Yeah, you too, man. I'll see you out here again. Yeah, definitely. Nice. That's cool. I was hoping I could, uh, he provided me an awesome day of fishing that last time I came out. So glad that lure that I gave him made something happen. Oh, it should make me something happen here. Maybe I'm due. That's too funny. He helped me catch a 17 incher, and then I helped him catch a 17 incher. 17 inches. What do you know? Big ol' heron right there. That's basically a giant fish finder. He's telling me that's where they're at. Hey there, bud. Do you mind if I uh, cast in there?
believe it. Finally caught one. How big are you, bud? Thirteen and a half. Finally got a fish. Are they over here? Is that what that means? Could be. All right, making the last few casts, hoping for a Hail Mary with this jig. Just about back to the car. Uh, not much happened today. Through the jig, through the spinner bait, was able to catch one on the spinner bait. A little 13 and a half incher. So glad that happened, no skunk. Yeah, I guess that's the cost of having some nice weather today. The fish weren't biting as much. And the water temperature cooled down pretty drastically. It's uh, from what I heard from one of the bass boat guys, it was uh, down to like 54 degrees, which is a, a pretty good drop from where it was at. But with that, I think that's the end of this video. I'll be back out fishing at my home lake on Wednesday. And yeah, I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.